Eric at the Davos uh, International Economic Conference. He, they really went head to head with uh, Japanese Prime Minister Abe, and uh, you know threats and counter threats. And the trouble is, the Eastern mentality is one of saving face, and they get up there and pound the pulpit and make threats to one another. It is very difficult for Orientals to back down and save face, especially the Chinese. Nevertheless, they too aren't ready to take on the world. We are going to see them continue to test the waters. Militarily. But you agree that at any time with China saying they might invade and take Philippine Islands, they might take Japanese disputed islands. I mean, if that happens, if Japan or the U.S. doesn't stand down, it will be a confrontation. Or is China really that willing to saber rattle? Because, you know, as you said, the whole Asian cultural, historical, military mindset they don't usually threaten something unless they're planning to carry it out, right? That's right. And as I say, they don't want to lose face. And I think uh, they're going to test the waters by taking control militarily of some of these islands. And I think the U.S. is going to let them get away with it. And I think that's going to be a big sign to China. Yep, we're on a roll. Just like we did with the Japanese in the 30s. Exactly. We let them get away. We let them invade China. We didn't stop them. And it only gave them more, uh, you know, enthusiasm for the fight. And so I think that's what you're going to see. I think you're going to see them take the Philippine Islands first, or they might take the ones down by uh, uh, Vietnam, uh, which are disputed as well. Uh, they'll probably leave the Senkakos to last because Japan does have a fairly formidable uh, defense force that could put up uh, a fight. But I think you're going to see a little domino effect going on here, and you're going to see the, the U.S. show its... Uh, conciliatory paper tiger uh, nature and we know what they're up to the globalists like uh, Admiral Locklear uh, in charge of the uh, sync compact uh, is uh, is clearly uh, out to pacify the Chinese uh, they know it. the Obama administration put him in that position to pacify and uh, it's going to create war someday these people are playing soft in order to uh, you know invite this attack I mean China and Russia know that the West is a formidable enemy, and uh, that's why they're aching for more disarmament, and, and they want more time. So we're going to see these things, uh, you know, play out over time, but I still think it's too early. Their weapon systems are not online. They are rushing things, though. You know, Alex, they talk about the four new aircraft carrier groups that they're trying to uh, uh, put it in, or they're actually in construction. The keels are being laid. They're not supposed to, according to a report six months ago, be ready and operational until 2022 to 24. And the latest report coming out, the Chinese said they want them operational by 2020. That indicates that they're accelerating their timeline or attempting to. And as I pointed out in my World Affairs brief last week, the closer they get to operational readiness for war with the West, the easier it is for them to go early by taking advantage of an opportunity that may present itself. Sure, sure, that situation. could happen any time then. And, and expanding on this, you know, the, 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 the Chinese, are, are more than the Russians from what I've seen, are sending up uh, satellite killers, a lot of the satellites that are going down. It looks like there's some covert stuff going on. Undoubtedly, the West is probably sabotaging satellites and other space-based platforms. There's a whole bunch of stuff up there that's at least 30 years in advance of what we know. Bob Bowman and others confirmed that. So that's another issue. If this war kicks off, what will it look like if it starts in a regional deal, dominoes, gets out of control like World War I or other events? We're going to see some space war, aren't we? We are, but only after I think we absorb a nuclear first strike. Here's how I think it's going to come down, Alex. It's going to, the trigger event has to be North Korea. North Korea is the most rogue uh, element in the world, and yet it's being given a pass by the U.S. We don't do anything to stop its nuclear progress, unlike Iran. And Iran is being set up, by the way, for a failure of this current agreement so that the U.S. can uh, attack. That was put out in a Brookings Institution piece in 2009, where they said, you know what the U.S. needs to do is bend over backwards to give them a peace deal, have them violate it so that it appears as if we didn't want this war, but Iran really slapped us in the face over this. I think that's what Iran's being set up I for. Agree. That, will, that will not turn into World War III because Russia and China, it's too early. They aren't ready to go to the Third World War over Iran. 
That will be done to consolidate Israel's hegemony over the Middle East, and the hatred of both the U.S. and Israel will increase dramatically, which feeds the excuse that Russia and China need eventually to take down the bully of the world. But the trigger event, I believe, will be North Korea. When you see a North Korean launch against the South, and they have... They do some minor military attack every year, so you've got to be careful not to uh, confuse those with a major artillery barrage on Seoul. If that ever starts, you know you're days away from nuclear war. People ought to get out of the cities that are major nuclear targets like Seattle, Washington, D.C. Uh, when we come back, tell us, tell us how the war games, it's not just your analysis, this is what a lot of the big think tanks admit. That's why the main force is to Asia, how it will play out within two days. How big the okay. nuclear attack will be. And, of course, the film, Strategic Relocation, that we produced together, I should add, is available exclusively at InfoWarsStore.com on DVD for your archives. Or you can be seen at PrisonPlanet.tv. And then the big color book, coffee table book, uh, there's no other research out there like it uh, outside of government uh, systems that nobody has access to. And Joel Skousen's World Affairs Brief uh, in his uh, his book, Strategic Relocation, available at InfoWarsStore.com. You've heard about Numana, true American pioneers in healthy, GMO-free, storable foods. Great-tasting meals with no MSG, soy, or chemical preservatives. No high-fructose corn syrup or aspartame and gluten-free options. Plus, superior 25-year shelf life and good enough to eat now. But have you heard this? Numana is so confident in our quality and taste, we'll give you $50 just to try it out. Call 888-597-0775 or use coupon code radio at checkout. GMO-free food storage Com. Numana, food storage you'll love to eat. When you need it the most, will your generator, power equipment, or vehicle be ready? Gas and diesel fuels go bad quickly when stored, and more than half of generator failures during disasters occur as a result of expired fuel. PRI fuel stabilizers keep your fuel fresh for when you need it most. Nuclear power stations, emergency service providers, and ships at sea rely on PRI fuel stabilizers. And you can too. Call 888-776-9373 or visit PRIproducts.com to find the dealer nearest you. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. From 1946 to 1989, during the period known as the Cold War, the enemies of freedom sent teams into their own citizens' homes in order to place listening devices and cameras. They tracked the movements and personal relationships of anyone they could in order to preserve the power of the state. 25 years later, you carry a tracking beacon with you and bug your own homes with your cell phone. History is repeating itself. Tear down this wall. Go to privacycase.com today and get a privacy case. Let's protect ourselves from this high-tech iron curtain that is trying to crush our right to privacy. The American-made privacy case uses military-grade shielding technology to stop these criminals and thieves in their tracks. Go to privacycase.com today and use coupon code GCN for 10% off. Privacycase.com. David Knight's coming up in the next hour in studio with breaking NSA news that's really bombshell. I mean, we already knew it was happening, but it, it gives you an idea of the secret police networks, the airports, and other areas to be internal checkpoints uh, to target uh, constitutional peace officers and things like that. I mean, we know how this takeover is going to look. And, uh, you know, the government could do a false flag to go after liberty movement. 
um, at any time or they could wait. The point is, is that we know this is being geared up, but we shouldn't even be afraid of it. We should be afraid of not speaking out against it and stopping it and exposing it. I get frustrated. People ask why I get mad at football. Well, they, they just obsess over the family of one quarterback and the other quarterback's family and what they eat for dinner and what they're into. And it's all the military mind of man being projected onto something that doesn't matter. Like we're studying thermal nuclear war. We're studying geopolitics. We're studying the stock market. We're studying the mindset of the elite. We're studying what's in the vaccines. We're studying... People think that's weird, like studying real things. Even though in the real world, you, you can make a lot of money just in business knowing this stuff. This is how the elite think, this is, except it's from their perspective. And then we try to spend time learning how the real world works, and it's weird. That's why I get very upset about the things of a child. It'd be one thing if you went to a ball game because your kid's in it or you liked a sports team. But when it becomes God, it becomes a Romanesque, gladiatorial evil, and that's what makes me sick. we got four minutes left, Joel Skousen. Thank you so much for the time. You've got the floor. Break down why you say Korea is the trigger. Most other big analysts agree with that, by the way. Uh, you know, if it ever kicks off with China, how that would unfold and why we, we've pivoted to the Pacific and where, where that's going. Well, in the first place, the pivot to the Pacific is really only about a 10% increase in assets. It's not enough to deter China. It's just a mere uh, facade. It's a little bit of political theater. There has to be a reason why North Korea has been preserved. That's why I say it's got to be the trigger. In other words, Iran, they've fumed, they've threatened, they've, the military options on the table, they want regime change, we infiltrate, we use covert operations. We do none of that with North Korea. In fact, we've guaranteed them no regime change and no military options on the table. Why? They're the most awful, god-awful regime in the world, and yet we do nothing. And that's only because, it can only be because the globalists know that they are the puppet of China and that they will be the trigger. Here's how I think it's going down. I think there will be an attack against South Korea. The, uh, the North Koreans have over 2 million troops, 20,000 artillery tubes. They can level Seoul in a matter of three or four days. The only way the U.S. can stop that attack from taking over the South is using tactical nuclear weapons. And that would give China the excuse then to nuke the United States. U.S. is guilty of first use. U.S. is the bully of the world. Russian and Chinese unite to launch against U.S. military targets, not civilian targets per se. There will be about 12 to 15 cities that are inextricably connected with the military that we're going to get hit, like I've mentioned in strategic relocation. You don't want to be in those cities when this attack comes. You may have two days' notice. When that attack in Korea starts before China launches on the United States, and if you ever see everything black out, because both Russia and China will use a preemptive nuclear or EMP strike, electromagnetic pole strike, to take down the grid before the nukes actually fall. So anytime you see all electricity out and no news, nothing at all, that's the time you need to be getting out of those cities before the panic hits. Now, I think our globalists come out of their bunkers then. They'll survive the attack. They'll say the Russians and Chinese deceived us. We need to establish a global military because our military has been taken down. No one to protect us. We need a global military force. And that's when the and big World War III starts. That's right. That's when it starts. Only then, Alex, does the U.S. bring out the space-based weapons to stop Russia and China from hitting any more targets. I want to do five more on this than David Knight's coming in. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. Hi, folks. Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. 
and that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex.